Oh snap! Look what came in! Oh. y'all so this is a very exciting moment here so i just got out of work um look what came in the r33 test pipe so what we're gonna do right now is i hit up a guy because stan said i need to get a a uh, boost gauge for the car so that's what we're gonna go do right now we're gonna go get the boost gauge it's a evo boost gauge um style so it's gonna be red and blue leds and we should be able to hook that up tonight as well so Stay tuned guys, if you guys haven't seen the last cruise with the Z, it's gonna be uh, right over here in this right hand side corner there. And again, like I said, thank you very much and for the support and I'll see you guys at Stan's house. Actually gonna go pick up the Skyline first before I go pick up the gauges, but here it is test pipe for this thing man it was crazy let's go do it here she is right here boom so yeah i'll update you guys let's get the gauges and then at stan's house all right cool got the pod gauges right here here it is let's go cool guys so in this video i'm going to show you guys well me and stan are going to show you guys how to install a pod gauge i don't even know how to say it boost gauge <laughs> into your r33 r32 your 34 if you're hot enough and then you're like old skylines if you want to boost it and stuff but yeah so we're going to show you how to all right you guys so we made it into stan's place he's checking out some of the gear give him a follow his sweet sweet gtr is <laughs> soon to be found here shortly but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and install this gauge right here and uh, get the test pipe on the car. So we'll go ahead and update you guys from each piece on, so yeah. And I told him that we wanted to do the gauge before the test pipe so we can measure uh, the boost before and after so that way we don't have an overboost situation because that test pipe is gonna allow for f free flowing exhaust and it's a possibility that we can have an overboost, so we want to make sure that we have something to measure that. There you go. He's the master. Hit him up. All right, so we got to figure out where we're going to hook this thing up for the thing to read. It's going to go right here if you guys have R33s. It's that little, what is it called, Stan? That's the boost control solenoid. Boost control solenoid right there. So. He's gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on taking this dash apart because you gotta go through the center. And yeah, I take this whole thing apart. So I'm gonna show you guys right in here how to take this dash apart. Firstly, if you don't have a cigarette box thing, whatever, um, back here, let me turn on the light. Back here, there's these two screws you wanna unscrew and this bottom half should come off with a little bit of wiggle and that should be it. So let me go and take that off here really quick and I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, so once you get the boot off, cigarette lighter connectors are going to be right there. It's going to be these bolts right here that you want to take off. And then this thing should come off with another bolt somewhere over here. Okay, so once you're done taking these bolts off, you just want to go around the edge like this. Kind of just shake this off. Just kind of wiggle it. Be careful because there's still wires behind here. That you want to be careful for so yeah just go around it if you have like a plastic like clipper thing go ahead and just push those out with that and that should be a lot safer so you don't damage your dash or anything of that sort so yeah let me go ahead and pop this off here really quick if i run into anything i'll show you guys where where it is so um yeah we were taking off the stuff and it looks like we're gonna get some new hoses because this thing's old <laughs> beat <laughs> beat beat
the moon. <laughs> December now. All right, so we picked up this hose thing. Stan's car is like fire right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the house, so yeah, we'll just update you guys there on that. Alright, so this is like the stupidest part, so you don't even need to take off the dash. Essentially, all you gotta do is go through this piece of the firewall. Where's it at, Stan? Right over there. Hopefully you guys can see that. But that's where you go, and you stick it through. Check this out. I did not take the whole dash apart. All you need is, get, is to leave this quarter panel for your fuses open, that's all you need to leave open. And you come down through here, through the stupid pedals, and you freaking go right here inside the hole where that, where that hose line is. I don't know if you guys can see that. But where that hose line is right there, that's where you go. And that's it. That's it. That is literally it. So all the people who are like, take your whole damn dash apart, don't do it. Just take, just take the middle section out so you can stuff the wires in there through the, through the center piece right there. You're going to stick all your excess cables in there inside the little island section in the middle of the car. And that's it. Gosh, we spent like a whole hour on this thing. Hopefully this YouTube video is like way better than everybody else's because it's hot. It's Arizona. It's like 110 degrees and luckily stands fancy, he yeah. said. He's got a, what is that, an AC unit? Yep. Stan's working away. Oh yeah, check him out by the way. Oh yeah, you know what? Check it. Sorry, I'm gonna cut that out. But, <laughs> check it out. Language. Extreme Wheels Bros, this is it. This is what we do. This is what he does. Oh yeah, look at that. So yeah, we're gonna plug everything else in and see where it goes. Yeah, I'm sweaty because it's hot of course. And Cause we working. Cause we working. We out here. <laughs> Again, follow Stan. <laughs> Give him a shout. Look at that. Look at that. You guys need work on GTRs and the R series? Come on. Come through. What? Come say hi. <laughs> what did you do, Stan? What uh, thing did you plug? I pulled this plug out of the firewall so that way you can actually get access easier. You can try and fish it through, but it's easier just to pull this plug out and then push it through afterwards. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, there's a freaking cicada on the car. What the heck? Global, global warming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 17 years, huh? That's supposed to be. That's creepy. All right, guys. So we've pretty much figured out where we're going to plug everything in. So now it's just about placing it and soldering things with lighters. <laughs> not with lighters. We have a soldering iron. We just have to do a, a heat shrink, which helps if you have a lighter. Ah. But since I don't smoke lighters. and neither does Josh, we're kind of SOL. Yeah, guys. Remember, kids, don't do drugs. I know you kids watch this too. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. All right, guys. So, Stander is handling the electricity power stuff. For the, for the boost gauge. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and knock out two stone, or was that two birds with one stone? Yeah. Yep, we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna take out the passenger seat so we can go ahead and do a little cat install. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that there. So yeah, I'll show you guys everything. And as of right now for the boost gauge, what you guys wanna do is hook it up to- Oh, uh, it's accessory power. So accessory power. So it, it only comes on when you have the ignition on. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. So stands over there. Come over here, and there's two bolts. One, two, over there. Nothing crazy. That's it. All right, so then there's two back here. There's this uh, plastic clip. It goes right there. Pull it off. There's another one. Just pop that off. 
and then you unbolt. Don't know what this is. This is from the previous owner. So we're just gonna leave it there. <laughs> oh yeah, check out Fadeen's uh, stuff. This stuff is so good. It smells so good in here. Let's check this out. Um, to get that little O2 sensor out, Stan, no. or not O2 sensor, EGT. EGT. So to get the EGT sensor out, you have to go underneath the seat. Oops. You just want to lift it up. It's a little plug right here. This is what you want to unplug so that you can go ahead and pull this piece of, piece of cable through right here. That's what you're going to pull through and cut once you delete the cat. So yeah, that's it. Take the four bolts off and you tilt it forward. That's it. Easy peasy. This is it. See those little gaskets, just like on the Z's. This pipe. Cool. Alright, so, you know that meme where they say, oh, this is only gonna take like a couple hours? It turns into like 11 hours? What time did we start, Stan? Uh, like 7.30. 7.30. What time is it now? Wow. Like 11.30, I think. So, Yep, 11.30. We took the whole dash apart, or at least, he, yeah. And then he did all the wiring, right? It wouldn't turn on due to the ignition, so I was like, why don't we just start the car? While we, he was fixing the wires, making sure everything was tight, we couldn't get the cats off, so we're just gonna have to, I don't know, probably take it to a shop and do an impact gun. 25 year old Japanese rust. Yeah. I can't even, uh, doesn't even <laughs> 25 year old Japanese rust sucks. Sucks. <laughs> Too bad. Sucks. So much. But, uh, yeah, so at least the pod gauge, pod gauge works. So now we just got to put this together and then call it a night because it's the man here has got to go to sleep <laughs> and stop playing with cicadas. Oh my God. It's like a monster. And it comes back. Oh my God. There it goes. And it's right there again. <laughs> well, well. Same spot. Oh. Same spot, look at that. So, we're gonna end it right here. For Just wanna give a huge shout out to Mr. Stan here. Give him a follow, seriously. He works hard. Dude, he knows a lot about these cars. So if you're in Arizona and you want wheels, everything from parts to all that, or you wanna hang out and take your GTR apart or your Skyline <laughs> apart, He's the man to do it. Yeah. So yeah, give him a follow right here. His Instagram. Yeah, no. And then we're just gonna end it right here because it's hot. So, you know, I'm gonna end it right here. So subscribe to this side, check out this latest video, and uh, give this man a follow. Good night. We're dead. <laughs>